And today, two victims came face to face with the man they say assaulted and harassed them at an Antioch dog park. 27 year old Louis Martinez appeared in a Davidson County courtroom. Our Marissa Sulik has covered this since one of the victims came forward back in May. But Marissa, we heard from another victim today for the first time. Yeah, that's right, Tracy. The second victim says she saw a social media post made by the first victim and in it she warned others to watch out for Martinez. The next day, the second victim says he approached her at that same dog park. Today, Louis Martinez walked into a Davidson County courtroom where two victims took the stand claiming he harassed and assaulted them. They say it happened here at the William A. Pitts Dog Park in Antioch. Hi, That's where we met one of the victims, a 17-year-old, just days after she says Martinez came up to her. She says he pulled up her shirt, friended her on Snapchat, and kissed her. The entire time, she says she was fearful he could do more. I was just afraid that he had like a weapon or something in his pocket because he never showed his other hand. This victim says she was able to get away and made this post on social media about what happened. The second victim who testified saw that post and encountered Martinez at the same park the next day. I was accosted by a gentleman that uh, I told him that he made me uncomfortable because of the questions he was asking me and the steps that he was taking towards me despite me saying I was uncomfortable. Even recalling that incident today made her emotional. I had told him when he asked me, um, you know, is your, does your dog bite? And I said only when he needs to. I don't know why I'm getting upset. Today, Judge Samuel Coleman sent the case to the grand jury, but first lowered Martinez's bond and brought his charge of kidnapping down to false imprisonment. Next. Now, Judge Coleman also said Martinez cannot go to a public park until his case is closed. We asked Metro, Metro Parks Police how they plan to enforce that. They told us it's hard to enforce since they do cover 16,000 acres. However, Metro Parks staff will be alerted if he shows up and will notify Parks Police. Tracy. All right. Gosh, what a story. Thank you, Marissa.